now for a full year and today's starting squad a new Six Nations captain two debutants the usual sprinkling of class Mane Ophelia are taking the captain's armband alongside Madhu Soufal in the second row who missed last year's championship with Roman Menege welcome back after having missed WXV in the autumn the debutant starter is Toulouse winger Kelly Albe while Nasira Conde is making her first start in the Six Nations in four years alongside the ever impressive Gabby Vernier for Ireland, well, Scott Beeman's in sole charge for his first Six Nations match as head coach, and his pack contains some decent experience. Gloucester's Neve Jones rarely takes a backward step, and Adele McMahon will captain from the back as another one who plays in England's PWR. And Beeman, well, he'll probably be mighty pleased to have secured the services of uh, Ireland's Sevens title winning trio. Avine Riley, Bavin Parsons, and Eve Higgins. And they hand their own starting debut to winger Katie Corrigan, who was in rich scoring form in the Celtic Challenge. It's the 12th different location that France have used across their last 13 home matches. As we said, such a great effort to get the road show around the country. Rugby's greatest championship is back then. The 2024 Guinness Women's Six Nations is go in Le Mans. And Pauline bourdon sans the first one to career across and championship drew out. Picked up a knee injury at LA Sevens. She's had an operation at the start of the week. They're hoping she'll be back for the Olympics. But this is the French engaging the drive after the line out. And bourdon sans will happily crack the whip at the back of that for as long as she needs to and it's still going forward Bordon Sanssouz with the break and under the post she goes an 11th try for Le Bleu for Pauline Bordon Sanssouz she scored two against Ireland last year now we know France's line out is exceptional last year it was the most successful line out in the whole championship and Ireland tend to struggle defensively and that's where most of their tries come from and that's exactly what we've seen here it's come from a line out it's brilliant awareness from Bordon Sanssouz and straight through the gaps brilliant try brilliant vision and France are already on the scoreboard nice and early. They've lined up Fowley on the left side of the scrum here with Dalton and Higgins and Parsons. Oh, and it's penalty Ireland. What's going to be the option here? Signalling straight for the posts. Nicole Fowley will... She impressed Scott Beeman at the Interpros at the end of last summer. She was player of the match in the win for Connacht against Leinster. Memorable win that. Actually had her debut for Ireland back in 2016 against England. And she was starting in WXV3 in Dubai against Kazakhstan. That was her first start since the Women's Six Nations. Well, five years ago now. Chance to get Ireland on the board then. Fowley, straight and true. Hope I don't commentate as cursor, but so far everyone's been pretty spot on. Now then, France from first phase, looking good once more, but Boulard, referee says happy enough that that was backwards. Arbe into the tackle of Parsons, who may need to consider getting a little lower in those challenges, as foul is well met. Good effort from Dorothy Wall. Oh, the French are all on top of each other, but now they might have found some room with Conde and Escudero, who's being encouraged into that wider channel, and Conde gets the ball back again. Ireland look to try and rip it away. They nearly managed to with Wafer. Bordon Sanssouz, hands turned up to the skies. Oh, it's the lovely ball back inside for Marine Manager. They've looked for it a couple of times, and that time it sticks. And the winger is in. Lovely, lovely back inside from San Ford, Ford on Sansus there. Great identification to actually call it from Menage. And again, you could just see her stepping through the defence, and it was a walk-in try. Beautiful line, beautiful communication between the two of them. Great identification. 
safely away for Wall. Ireland will want to get out of here as soon as they can. Fowley has just dropped back, ready to receive this. Oh, but we've got a penalty to France. Boula, was it? Now the Irish have it. They've got a knock-on advantage, but the referee is going to say that will be that for the first half. Then took the assist from the scrum half. Second half underway in Le Mans. Felea going in with the right arm and then plays it away. Menage with the Roman variety. Oh, and they look to just go straight through. They're short, as the referee says. Calfawi, is that on the line? The referee says no. Bordon Sans Sous, Boulard to her left. Now they go through the middle and get the try. An advantage there because they've hit early. You can see the hit coming in nice and early, which means Ireland have to throw absolutely everything at this defensive set because even if they don't score on this set, it is coming back to the advantage. But again, rugby's a game of inches. Fran Condé gets through the gap, had freed the arms. Was that forwards? We play on. Ball, ball back in for Arbe on her debut. Arbe going for the line and scoring. You can see what it means to her there. Look at the smile. Scoring your first try on the international stage is such a special moment and one the whole French team are congratulating for. Wonder whether they will go back and look at the pass, but Kelly Abe gets a try on debut for France. The fourth try, the bonus point. Oh, now then. There we go. And our TMO is Quinton Immelman. So Kelly's going to put it on the screen for you. I'll let you know once it's on. It's fair to say there have been a few flat passes that uh, referee Cap Roach seems relatively happy with, but the offload from the, the hand floor hand here. On the ground, pops it up. Forward from there. We'll get a closer shot for you now. Definitely mm -hmm. forwards. This is the shot, yeah? Yeah, you can see your hands actually moving forward on the offload. Maybe a slight overrun there. That's the one there. Okay. Good vision, but slightly off accuracy. Yeah. Okay, so it leaves, the, it leaves her hands forward. Is, is it clearer from your angle? The screen's very far away. That is clear, clearly okay. forward out of the hands from okay. 13 blue. So we're saying no try and we're going back for a scrum to Ireland. That is correct. At the 40 and uh, about 10. How about the 10? I'll give you the mark. Okay, thank you. So it won't be the no fourth try. try and the bonus oh, point. Yes. Pushing towards that fourth try. It's back with Sosha, and they're making those meters towards that Irish line. I got Sosha. France get their fourth try this time. See them getting the good goal forward. Ireland doing everything they can to kind of penetrate, trying to get through, but spun off, squared up, and then you can see all the backs running in just to give the forwards that little push over the white line that they think they need. Beautiful control, beautiful composure. And there again, and you want that penalty five metres from from the whitewash, and they're going looking like they're going to touch and go there rather than the mall, even though the mall was pretty successful in their last attempt. Scuffle McCabe gives it away. France desperately defending Ireland might be over. Is it Efa Wafer? They're celebrating the score. We. Oh, my goodness. They are celebrating the Irish. It looked pretty good on first viewing, didn't it? Quinton. Count Roach is going to go upstairs. Up my on -field is I think I nearly called a wee for a for there. So. <laughs> right, let's... Uh, well, that's all right, Kat. I'll show you a, a little look. angle on that. So, on field decision is try. Yes. Irish had the this opportunity the to go for three points. This is the best angle. Turning it down to go for more. Well, of course, you'd expect that they might. So, ball clearly on the ground 
you can award the try. Thank you. Ireland score a try against France. I see a protege of one Jesse Tremoulier at Romagna. In for France. Zago brings it down. Round the corner they come. There's the try line at the mercy of Elisa Rifono. Ealing trail finders and France and scoring. Second try on a seventh cap. You can see the quick setup on the mall here, a slight shift in the setup again, which means all the weight is coming through that left hand side of the mall, allowing France to really get the goal forward, just shifting off slightly to the left, changing the ball. Fizzly rain. Oh, now. What have we got here? We're going to go and have a look upstairs. Quinton Immelman has come in. I guess potentially some blocking in the mall, maybe, but I'm not 100% sure. Hedge your bets, Jade, hedge your bets. That's what I'm going to go for, maybe a <laughs> bit of blocking. <laughs> Getting the communication at the minute. Now. Let's look at the Ripper. So the Ripper clearly breaks off behind. Show me that angle. Take us from Kira Zago. Just going to show you the angle again from behind now. This is the one. Did, is it about the fact that... So what, what, they're, what they're saying is Menage coming back out. So as a plus one, you need to stay connected. You're not allowed to slip I'm through. I'm happy with that as well then. That's good. Okay. You can so see. Yes. You I just see. wonder whether Escudero was denied the tackle. Yeah. Coming yes. round the back. I don't know if that's. We, yes. we didn't quite catch the beginning of that conversation in our commentary position. Perhaps you may have at home. But uh, the try will stand nonetheless. Referee been shown the facts. Happy to stick with the on field decision. You could see Menage come out slightly, but it wasn't significant enough to be pulling right out the back as a ripper. Bourgeois gets the conversion. I mean, at this point, on the scoreboard, it's unlikely to be too much of a concern of Scott Beeman's or this Irish pack, but France have scored over 40 points in each of their last four meetings. And given the 50-point margin last year, well, if they can keep this under 40 points, then... That might be a small achievement in the development of this Irish side, particularly away to France at home. Tweet. Lays it away. Vernier looking to try and get on the outside. The tackle was good from Moore, and it's loose from Tui, and it might be the try for Ireland. Oh! Hasselden and harried. Unreal pressure there to read that ball being fumbled on the ground to come through. Potentially a little knock on initially, but then over. We're going to put it up for you now, catch. Well, Tweez knocked it backwards to begin with. Then Dalton's there. Don't think it's come off a hand. I think it has. I think Aoife Dalton has scored Ireland's second try here. Okay. So everything looks fine to me. I'm not seeing clear separation. This is the lost angle here, catch. So it's, I have it backward off of blue and clear rounding by green. That is correct. Okay, so there's so no clear and obvious knock on. Okay, you so can stay with the on for decision. Thank you. I'll get their second. Aoife Dalton putting on the pressure. More greasy ball, lost control, knock on either way, draws the final whistle. Will France get their 2024 campaign off to a solid start? 
scoring five tries at home to Ireland.